Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to look at deriving expression for the acceleration of an object undergoing simple harmonic motion. So let's get started. Now we've already derived an expression for the velocity of an object undergoing SHM in my previous theory video, but we can do a similar thing for the acceleration of an object undergoing SHM. But please note that you don't need to be able to derive the acceleration one in the exam. So it says that similarly we can derive an expression for the acceleration of the end of the tuning fork prong. So we're still talking about the end of a tuning fork vibrating back and forth, but this analysis applies to any object undergoing SHM. It then says since acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, we can write a equals dv by dt equals d squared y by dt squared, i.e. acceleration is the first differential of velocity but the second differential of displacement with respect to time. So if you start with the expression for displacement y equals a sine omega t, i.e. where the displacement y equals zero at its equilibrium position at time t equals zero, and if you differentiate that y equals a sine omega t expression with respect to time, then you end up with a omega cos omega t. So what we can then do is differentiate it again to get the acceleration a equals d by dt of a omega cos omega t since a equals dv by dt. And if you do that, you can hopefully see that differentiating cosine gives you negative sine, and then we need to differentiate inside this term with the omega times the t, so we can times everything by omega. So we end up with a equals minus a omega squared sine omega t. But since we started with the displacement y equals a sine omega t, you can see that expression appear in this one here. So you've got the a there, and then you've got sine omega t. So if you take out the a sine omega t and substitute in for y, then you end up with a equals minus omega squared y. And this is in fact what we call the definition of simple harmonic motion in equation form, and this is basically Hooke's law that we saw a few videos ago in terms of acceleration rather than restoring force or unbalanced force. So instead of f equals minus ky or minus kx, we have acceleration a equals minus omega squared y. So this shows us that acceleration, just like unbalanced force or restoring force, is directly proportional to the displacement of the object undergoing SHM, but in the opposite direction shown by this negative sign. So what we have done is we have shown through differentiation that y equals a sine omega t and y equals a cos omega t are solutions to the equation for SHM, i.e. a equals minus omega squared y. So we equally could have started with y equals a cos omega t and derived the velocity expression and the acceleration expression to end up with the same relationships that we got. Now just like we did for velocity where we derived an expression for the maximum velocity and the velocity in general, we can do the same here. So we've got the general acceleration equation a equals minus omega squared y, but we can also write one in terms of the maximum acceleration. So it says an expression for the maximum acceleration of an object undergoing SHM when y equals a is given by a max equals omega squared a. So you can see we've got rid of the negative sign there and we've replaced y with a, i.e. the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position. And that's because at y equals zero at the equilibrium position, the acceleration will be zero or the unbalanced force or restoring force will be zero. But then at the point of maximum displacement from the equilibrium position, we'll have the maximum amplitude a and therefore the acceleration or the unbalanced force and restoring force will be maximum. So we have a equals minus omega squared y in general and then for the maximum acceleration we have omega squared a where the symbols have their usual meanings. And lastly you should note that this expression for maximum acceleration a max equals omega squared a is not given on the relationship sheet in the exam. However this general acceleration equation is so a equals minus omega squared y. That's all for this video folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.